Hello, it's Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm coming to you from the hood of Betsy Blue, my 43-year-old one-ton flatbed truck. Chevrolet C30 with a big old gas guzzling 454 engine, seven and a half liters. Today I'm going to show you how to build a really dirt cheap, almost free uh, worm bin. One that's suitable for raising worms in your house. This is the kind of worm bin a girl that used to work for me used to raise worms in her bedroom closet. And it's based on this cat kitty litter box. The cool thing about the kitty litter box is I picked this one up off the side of the road. It didn't cost me anything. You know anybody with kitties? You have a cat? People are throwing these things away all the time. They buy them and don't know what to do with them. So the cool thing about this is they have a lid that snaps pretty closed. It's pretty tight. So you can keep the worms in here and they won't get away. You can see it snaps real good and tight. So the thing that you need to do is make air holes in the lid. Now I would prefer, now she didn't do this, and some people don't vent and drain the bottom of their beds. I guess because she had in her bedroom closet, she didn't want to do that. And you can do that. Although I would prefer that you put little holes in here, uh, with drill holes, just tiny ones, and cover them with wet sand inside the bin and put this over on uh, some kind of little catchment to catch whatever drips out of it, like a little pan, aluminum pan or something. And you have little blocks to hold it up. That's what I would really recommend is the best way to raise your worms. But she raised plenty of fish worms this way. So the key thing is you can just use a regular little old pocket knife. And uh, the key thing is you got to know how to hold these, do what I'm doing so you don't, you know, jab it through your hand. But just uh, make holes in the top air holes and do a bunch of them and uh, I'm not going to sit here and do all the air holes in this video but the idea is that you just punch twist a little bit and make a bunch of air holes in a lid so and again we're not going to go through the whole nine yards over this on this particular bin but look in here this is just an old kitty litter bin but the, that's all that it takes and you can put worms in there now this thing I tell everybody you need about a square foot of surface area. Depth don't really count. Worms live in about the top six inches of whatever you put them in. So the key thing is what's the square surface area? About a pound of worms per, per uh, square foot. Now this thing is about 11 and a half inches. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. And uh, it's... Uh, not quite a, a foot wide either about nine and a half over here but the key thing is you can raise worms a little denser than that and this is okay for a pound and so and now I'm going to show you another little trick a quick and dirty way to uh, separate worms from castings and this is just a cheap little old uh, basket I bought a file basket from uh, you can get these at Office Max or Office Depot and uh, Here's some castings with the worms in it. The worms have gone down. Look at my previous video where I'm harvesting worms out here on the hood of my truck. The one pound quick and easy harvest. Well, this is another quick and easy harvest. Ah, oh, there they are. This is right out of a bed. You can see my worms in here. And uh, all you gotta do is shake this thing. Shake it good and vigorously. And look at the worm castings coming out the bottom. See that? So if you see that, we have nice worm castings here already separated. This is another quick, dirty way. It's kind of hard for me to hold a camera. Tripod's not going to work too good. I just can't get the tripod in close enough. I want me to always use a tripod. It means I got to edit the devil out of these videos. It takes forever. My video editors are clunky. I've done gone through two of them. I see, that's mostly worms. Look at these worms. They're not small. Some people think my worms are tiny because they're red worms. So now some of them, these are fat little worms. I've been feeding them well. They're not that long yet. They can get four inches long. But they're all little fat guys because I'm feeding them well. And these little worms, they love the watermelon and coffee grounds and that kind of stuff. Now, I said there's some bigger stuff in here. Now, you can separate that off just by following the methodologies I taught you earlier for putting the worms in a bin and letting them dive down and get away from the light. 
and even though the sun is just setting uh, these will still dive down to get away from the light. Hey, see there's some good sized worms in there. Check that out. And they will dive down because they were dive down earlier. And then you just brush all this stuff off. And then you can put all this stuff inside here. You can put a compost in here. You could add these castings in here or whatever. And you can have a worm bed made out of this. That's all it takes. And that is free. You can put it in your kitchen, you can put it in your bedroom, living room, wherever. And these are pretty cheap, I don't know, maybe nine or ten dollars. Look how, look at these nice castings I got. Totally separated. All that's left is the big compost items here. And these worms will dive down. Well, the light's not all that bright, but they'll still dive down. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but that's the way you can do a free worm bed, ultra cheap and um, a way that you can uh, harvest and sift out your castings ultra cheap. Of course you can always build a plywood, uh, no take a two befores and make a frame with some uh, a mesh cloth but uh, this is a lot quicker and easier if you just want to do it in a hurry and, and it, it isn't going to cost you any more money than buying some two befores. Hello my apologies that video was rougher than I thought it would be so yeah, okay, so I won't do so much action close in on the camera with one hand and banging on things with another hand. I see that was a little bit rough, but it does show one thing. It shows that was a very easy harvest. If I could hold a hammer with one can and shake a basket with another can and harvest castings, that kind of illustrates the point that was an easy harvest. And I did have to set the camera down to finish banging the holes and, and finish up that bin, but, but I'm gonna show you that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and show you the finished product. And before I do that, though, I want to mention, worms are a key essential for you to be able to grow your own food uh, when there's a grid down, when it's hit the fan, and there's no stores available to go to to buy things like fertilizer, uh, to buy uh, pesticides, because you can brew worm tea, which is an artificial pest repellent and uh, fertilizer and you can also use your worm castings and worm compost in your garden and you don't need the fertilizer it makes your compost so much better i'll go into that more in detail in the future i'll make videos on specifically on compost worm tea and uh, such things as that for the garden that's coming up real soon now what i do want to mention is that uh, in the days ahead of us uh, we face a lot of challenges in our society and being able to grow your own food will be the key to survival in the long term. In the short term, though, there are situations where you need to have food stored. Uh, you want to see uh, uh, potentially a grid down, especially if it's in the wintertime. Uh, you need seed, I will tell you that. You're going to need seed. And uh, you're going to see situations where uh, we could have a grand solar minimum with a really cold climate for a short period of years, uh, or longer maybe. We could have uh, perhaps a nuclear winter, a volcanic winter. See my other videos on those topics. Uh, there's some scary potential situations ahead of us. It pays you to be prepared, not scared, and that you can do. And uh, so don't turn blue. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to show you something here. For, for storage of your own food uh, and to get supplies, there's nothing that beats Patriot Supply. They've got meals here that you can't prepare. Any, any cheaper and they last 25 years. If, if you get their, uh, let me uh, shrink this video here. If you get their, uh, their uh, uh, larger supplies, you can get stuff that's uh, good for up to, uh, well, you can get a year supply of stuff. Now I want you to look at this stuff. There's some good yummy food here, survival food, long-term storage. Uh, Look at this. You can get a year supply here. And look, it comes in these nice to, to handle uh, buckets. Uh, you can get three months supply. You can get a four week supply, six months supply. And look at all this yummy food. I mean, this is just great. This is excellent here. So, um, and the prices here, once you get the food like this, man, that's like $2 a meal. Find that somewhere else. In the last 25 years, I mean, my gosh, I mean, look at what you get here. Uh, this is awesome stuff. Uh, and it's easy to carry if you need to be able to carry it, ship it. Uh, however, you know, you can only backpack so much stuff, mainly seeds and 
MREs, maybe if you got to bug out. But for bugging in or bugging out with a vehicle, uh, you can't beat this as a way to go. Or, or put stashes somewhere, caches. Uh, if you've got a bug out location pre supplied, this is the way to go. And this can get you through a spell of a few years to get to growing your own food. But then, look, you're going to have to have some years to practice growing your own food. And if you haven't started now, uh, the best insurance you can have is to have food stored until you get to that level. But in the long term, this stuff's going to run out, so you're going to have to be able to grow your own food. And that's where, when the grid's down, there's no stores available, you need worms. And I sell worms. Check greengregs.com. And anyway, so uh, uh, also here at My Patriot Supply, you can get heirloom seeds, which you're going to need. You're going to need seeds. Heirloom seeds means you can replant them. They're not like hybrid seeds. You get all kind of stuff. So seeds for sprouting, which you can use for microgreens, vegetable seeds, herb seeds. That's where you get your medicinals. You won't have a pharmacy anymore. Fruit seeds. Hey, there's a good deals, cheap water filtration. I covered that in one of my videos. Uh, air purification. There's all kind of survival gear. This is a great site. Please check it out. Support my channel. One of the best ways to support my channel is by coming here and buying stuff or buying worms from me. You're going to need those too. So um, I do heartily encourage you to share all that. And uh, I'm going to continue the video here. Here you can see the bin with all the holes in the top. I punched a bunch of holes. That's all you need to do. And you can see the worms down in there. I would put a little bit more material in there than that, but six inches is all they need for an actual application. I'm going to put these back in my plywood box because this is not the way I raise my arms. So again, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Bang the bell for update notifications because i got a whole lot of other nifty ideas I'm going to show you about raising worms, uh, growing your own food, prepping, surviving, and about the things that may come at us that may cause the you-know-what to hit the fan. But in any event, that's a free, can't get any cheaper than that, a free worm bed.